Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's super important for Braille users, educators, and anyone involved in the world of accessible education. We're going to compare the UEB Math Code and the Namath Code. These are two systems used for transcribing mathematical content in Braille, and each has its unique features, advantages, and challenges. So, let's get started. First up, let's talk about the UEB math code. UEB stands for Unified English Braille. It's designed to be a single Braille code that covers both literary and technical content. Here are some of the advantages of using UEB for math. 1. It's a unified system, meaning you only need to learn one code for everything. This can make life a lot easier for students who are new to Braille. 2. It ensures consistency across all types of texts, so there's no need to switch codes when you move from reading a novel to solving math problems. And 3. UEB is an international standard, which means it's used in many English-speaking countries around the world. This promotes a unified approach to Braille literacy. But there are some downsides to UEB as well. For instance, UEB can be more complex and less intuitive for advanced mathematics. It also tends to take up more space, which means Braille documents can get quite bulky. And if you're already familiar with Namath, transitioning to UEB might be a bit challenging. Despite these challenges, UEB is incredibly beneficial, especially in educational settings. It's great for younger students or those just starting with Braille because it offers a unified learning path. Plus, it simplifies the teaching process for educators since they only need to teach one code. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the Namath code. Namath is a specialized code for writing and reading mathematics and science in Braille. It was originally structured with the surrounding non-technical text written in English Braille American Edition, EBAE. The implementation of UEB required a shift in how surrounding non-technical text is written with Namath because EBAE is no longer one of the official codes. BANA developed guidelines for use of the Namath code embedded within UEB text. Code switching indicators are employed to prevent any ambiguity or conflict between UEB and Namath symbols. This allows the text surrounding the math expression or chemical formula to be in UEB while the technical content itself is transcribed in the Namath code. In other words, Namath code is used within UEB contexts. Namath code is specifically designed for mathematical and scientific notation. It's been around for a long time and is particularly popular in the United States. Here are some advantages of Namath. 1. It's highly efficient and easier to read for complex mathematical expressions. 2. Namath code often requires less space, making documents more concise. And, 3, there's a wealth of resources and support available for Namath users. However, Namath also has its drawbacks. For example, students need to learn a separate code for math in addition to UEB for literary content. This dual learning can be more demanding. Also, switching between Namath and UEB can be cumbersome, and it's primarily used in the US, which limits its international applicability. That said, Namath code is fantastic for anyone deeply involved in STEM fields. It's precise, compact, and ideal for conveying complex mathematical information. Plus, there's a rich set of teaching materials available for both students and educators. So, which one should you choose? It really depends on your needs. If you're a beginner or looking for an internationally unified system, UEB might be the way to go. But if you're dealing with advanced math and need a more efficient notation, Namath is probably better. In conclusion, both UEB and Namath have their own strengths and are suited to different purposes. The key is to understand what works best for your specific situation, whether it's for education, professional work, or personal use. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand the differences between UEB Math Code and Namath Code. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content on accessible education and Braille literacy. See you in the next video.